Hi, welcome to round three of the Irish Women's Team Six Nations campaign. Um, after a disappointing match against the French, we get into England um, with a lot of pressure on us. Um, we look forward to it and it should be a huge challenge, so we'll see you out there. Shit the bed! Just... <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Dude. Propolicious. Meet us. Cool. Part of our preparation for our trainings and match um, games is the music committee and they're involved in making sure that we have music on the bus, music in the change room. Um, the Lions guys got all iPods and portable karaoke machines, so we, the Irish women, have also got our portable karaoke machine. Songbook. The songbook. It was put together by the music committee, which we have Nora. Hi. Lauren. Hi. And Fee. Musically inept. <laughs> um, guys, can you tell me where you got all your flavours and music from? Most of the girls come up with songs, a um, bit of glee inspiration with Journey. Um, Marvin Gaye. We've we joined Neville's My Way, which is a classic yeah. traditional one that we always sing. I'm so vain for Fee. <laughs> I actually don't think that is in it. <laughs> um, Nora, any songs that you like? or? Yeah, well, I don't go for the poppy kind of song, so I'm more kind of the yeah, yeah, yeahs and that the what? type of music. <laughs> the who? <laughs> give us a bit of indie. <laughs> indie. Um, do you want to give us a bit of a demo on one of your karaoke songs? <clears throat> Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me. <laughs> so as you can see, we don't need portable karaoke machines because paper is fine for us. The Irish women's team is full of a lot of talent um, in other sports. We've got our basketballers, we've got our girls that play high level soccer as well. We've also got um, a few of our girls that play GAA at a really high level. So today I'm going to be speaking to Nora Stapleton who, who features for Old Belvedere Rugby Club. Um, so Nora, when did you start playing rugby and how do you compare that to your experience with GAA? Um, okay, well I started playing rugby about three years ago, kind of, um, for Old Belvedere and I kind of did it just to get fit over the winter because there's no Gaelic football um, and yeah it's I suppose playing the Gaelic means it meant I could catch the ball and I could kick the ball and I could run with the ball so that meant I was okay at rugby. <laughs> yeah. Coming into the Irish squad um, can be quite daunting because there's a few girls here that have been around for a few years. How did you feel coming in into the squad at first? Um, I don't know I suppose maybe it's helped that I'm a little bit older. You know, I'm not one of them. I'm not a young kid coming into the squad yeah. and I play kind of county football and stuff like that. So you get used to joining up on new teams and things. What would you say your goals for um, rugby to start off with would be? From now or yeah. what were they? No, from now. From now, I want to try and keep a bit of a place going on this team. Um, so you want to submit your uh, yeah. mark on, on the wing position? Do you enjoy playing out on the wing or would you rather be closer in? I'd enjoy playing anywhere, to be honest. But um, yeah, and then look at the World Cup as well, because you know, it's a lot you get to play in the World Cup, so hopefully I can be there for that. So you came into rugby quite late. Mm -hmm. um, what would your advice or words be for younger girls who wanted to enter into the sport? Um, it's hard for them if they're under 18s because they, you know, they can't properly come into the club level, but even go out there and train with them, mm -hmm. because it's a lot different from playing with their own age group. Um, they get a lot better players, things like that. So get out early, throw the ball around. Throw the ball around. Yeah. And um, North Stapleton, Old Balbo. Okay. The girls are putting in extra training for our match tomorrow, so they're working on a bit of agility and hand-eye coordination. We'll pop in and have a look at what they're doing.
Yeah, rice. Get over us. <laughs> like. <laughs> Bless you. Sweet. So the women's rugby team are lucky to have a few supporters following them and we've got a former um, president of the Ulster rugby branch, Ian Graham, sitting over here. Um, Ian, what do you think of women's rugby so far for Ireland? There's not enough Ulster girls on, that would be the first thing I'd have to say. <laughs> and how are we going to rectify that? Well, we've got a problem in Ulster and we've got to solve it. Okay, and, and how do you think we as players can help you? Well. You, you uh, guys, you've picked everybody who you think at this particular time is the best player in their position, and that's cool. That's the way it should be. Uh, but Ulster rugby is a different situation at the moment, and the Ulster branch have got to sort women's rugby out in Ulster. Okay, and on the Irish squad at the moment, who are you here to support this weekend? Well, since my daughter is called Lauren as well, <laughs> uh, it happens to be this young lady in front of me here. And her first start, her first, her, her first start for the side. Yes, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so this young lady here. Okay. And do you actually know um, Lauren's nickname? Uh, <laughs> no, but I have a funny feeling I'm going to hear it. Well, it's it's her own favourite word that she uses all the time, and she's actually given herself this nickname. Do you want to share it? Propolicious. <laughs> Propolicious? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, if she keeps losing weight, she might be back row delicious. She might be back row delicious. Oh, I like you. From what she was a while back when she was the shot putter. <laughs> and, and through the shot put for the school. So we're the school, and all the people in the school, both pupils and staff, are very proud of the fact that she's starting oh. tomorrow against England. Fully supporting. We're seriously proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> The Irish women rugby team are really lucky. We have um, people come to support us in all our matches and they fly over to many of our matches. So Lauren this weekend is lucky and she's got her, her supporter here with her on her first cap.